morning everyone right now I'm going for breakfast and uh, we are going to have uh, a noodle dish called Char Kway Teow uh, It is a noodle dish that is originated from Penang And I'm having this uh, called the Jalan Batai Char Kway Teow That is uh, moved to Klang And they serve amazing Char Kway Teow So I'm, I can't wait to show all of you uh, this uh, noodle dish that I'm going to have This noodle dish mainly comprised of rice noodles and uh, uh, with chive cooking with prawns, cockle, and Chinese sausage but the one that we are having today doesn't have Chinese sausage in it other than that, they cook it with soy sauce, uh, chili paste and with very very strong fire it is the strong fire that really gives the char kway teow the uh, smoking and charring flavor to it and uh, that is the signature of uh, every char kway teow okay, our char kway teow has just arrived and uh... Okay, look at uh, what do they have here. They have uh, prawns and uh, here's the cockle that I mentioned earlier. I think it's the last thing that they put in and it's uh, half cooked. Not my preference, but I'll try and see if it's fresh. Fresh is actually very nice. Okay, they have this chive and the noodles. I'm going to try it right now. Mm, this is amazing. And there's really this a charring paste into the char kway teow and I think it's because of uh, the fire is really strong and she has been cooking since morning 8.30 uh, a.m. I, I don't think she has off the fire it has been ongoing since 8.30 a.m. and she just continued adding ingredients and ingredients and cooking batch after batch without turning off or turning low the fire that is the reason why that it has uh, given this char kway teow a really strong and fragrant charring flavor into it There's a boss who sells dessert earlier who came over to uh, sell dessert to us and he was pushing us to buy and uh, he is selling uh, this dessert called Ma Thai Ko. Basically it's a jelly uh, that made of water croissant. There's a layer of jelly in it and also on top of it it is a layer of coconut milk pudding. Uh, there's two layers to it. So I'm just going to try it and see. Mm. Mm. It would be nicer if it's colder. I think he has been holding it and bringing around since morning. So uh, it is not really very cold. Sweet. I can taste the creaminess from the coconut milk. And also I can taste the crunchiness from the watercress inside the jelly. Uh, it's a not bad uh, dessert. Quite nice. It's been a while since I last ate this dessert. Uh, if you're in Malaysia, uh, look for this uh, little jelly dessert called Ma Thai Ko. Uh, it's two layers. One layer is kind of greenish and uh, top layer is white color. And the white color layer is coconut milk. Now, uh, we are heading to another place uh, to have uh, durian. So, uh, stay tuned to find out more about the durian that we are going to eat. Here we are at the durian place and they have actually a lot of variety uh, having one for 5 ringgit, one for 10 ringgit, one for 15 ringgit so uh, a lot of different variety to choose from and uh, right now we are going to see uh, what type of durian we want to have Like Okay, thank you Oh, Mao Wong, okay Mao Wong, there's a star Oh, there's a star here There's a star Okay, okay Ah, okay. Hau lang ah. Okay. Ah, heha. Me tung sui do. Nampak do. Man do jauh, hai. So this is the classic Mao San Wang, the Mao San King, Lou Shi. Yeah, old tree. Okay. The boss actually managed to convince us to have the Mao San King, and it's 88 ringgit for, a 50 ringgit for one kg, and the weight of the durian that we have chosen is 88 ringgit in total. The Mao San Wang, the Mao San King durian that we will be having. Hello, I met a friend from Kong Sao here. Uh, she, she, she said that she has been eating. This year, how did you say that you have to eat a lot? Yes, I have to eat a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, okay. Here you have to eat two times. You have to eat two times. So apparently she's from Kong Sao and uh, she has uh, been in Malaysia for six days and she has been eating durian every day and she has been to this place for two times already. I have to eat a lot. 
I have this plastic so I don't have to wash my hand later. Let me try the Mao San Wong. Very creamy. Mm. Nice. Let me try. Very cheap. For KJ50. The whole thing for big. It's very fragrant. Um, very creamy and there's this honey sweet kind of taste to it. Mm. Very yellowy. Time. Not all the time we will get to have durian uh, in Malaysia. It's usually the durian season uh, with around uh, this few months that we'll get to have good durian and everyone in Malaysia will be uh, having durian at this time. Even people from Guangzhou who come all the way here have been having durian on an everyday. I'm going to open the last one. I think this would be the... Uh, it's been a long time since I uh, actually touched and opened a durian. And there's only one. Okay. The last one. That is. We have just done with durian and it was really a satisfying meal since this morning. Uh, the chakwe the amazing chakwe we had this morning and also this uh, Musang King durian uh, that we just have. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. I hope you really like this video and give my video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified uh, whenever I publish a new video and so that you won't miss any of my video. Uh, I hope you have a great day and that's all for now. I'll see you in my next video.